Hi everyone. In my application I have a couple of elements that I'm clicking, checking and so on. So there is a lot of repetition, I would say. A lot of, hey, find me button with roll tab with this text. How can I avoid this repetition? Especially if you consider that I'm already using a couple of utility uh, functions. So here's what we can do. After we visit the page, we can grab this element, right? Let's say uh, page one. And we can save it as an alias, page one. And we can grab page two and save it as another alias. So we are on the first page, right? So we can verify it by saying get page one, right? Using the same alias, just prefixed with at symbol. And we can say should have attribute area selected true, right? And we can save it the second page using an alias, should not have attribute selected, uh, and so on. Let's see if this works, right? Uh, perfect. It works exactly the same way. And let's say uses an alias. And we can actually avoid the whole thing just to demonstrate it slightly better. Okay, so it goes from tab to tab. Are we using, again, the page 2? So we can grab it using an alias. Works exactly the same way. Now we have to verify that we are on a page two. So we'll say page two should have area selected and page one should not have area selected. True, this removes it. And we can say page two should not have data loading. And notice that tells me the element alias in the command log every time I save it or every time I use it. Now you might um, ask yourself, well, it's a lot of uh, repetition, right? And remembering the Alice, I still think it's pretty readable. But if you want to change this, you can refactor this. So here's what you can do. You can say, I'm going to access all my pages through a page object. Yeah. So you'll have a method and it will return whatever you have right here. So that's the first method. And the second method returns the second page by Alice. So now every time you want to use page one, you'll just say pages one and you call the method. Every time you want to access the second element, you'll say pages two and you invoke it as a method. Works exactly the same way. Now one little uh, improvement over this, you don't have to call it as a method. You can say this is a getter which is a standard JavaScript uh, way of creating getters. So now you can remove this function invocation in every place, and it works exactly the same way. So when you do pages one, it goes to the property one, sees, oh, it's a getter, I have to invoke it as a function, calls this uh, Cypress method. You can go even beyond this, although I do not recommend this, you can say log false, right? And notice all these access method calls are removed from command log. I actually don't like this because then it's a little bit harder to understand what this assertion refers to. So I don't suggest you uh, remove it from the, or hide it from the logs. Perfect.